Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The President of the United States of America, occupying the most coveted seat in the White House, is also arguably the most protected person in the world. Whether it is for state visits, diplomatic trips, campaigns, or family holidays, their every move is meticulously planned and coordinated, leaving very little margin for error. Football that, made. that will also be caught by the pool. Who and it is always an elaborate affair, especially for those directly involved, who must be ready to move at all times and to any destination. Your daily mission could change even even within that day. You could find out in the morning that you think you're going to go to Minneapolis and then a couple hours later find out that you're going to go to Kansas City instead. It just it changes very, very quickly. Preparations for a presidential journey often involves transporting the presidential state car, officially nicknamed the Beast, to the mission destination. And since the Beast does not fly in the same plane with the presidential entourage, this job is undertaken by the workhorse of the U.S. Air Force, the C-17 Globemaster. This heavy-duty transport aircraft is designed to carry a hefty payload of almost 180,000 pounds and also take off from and land on austere airfields or dirt strips. So the U.S. Secret Service uses the C-17 to transport the 20,000-pound custom-built presidential Cadillac alongside other limos and heavily armored vehicles. The White House Transportation Agency, or WHTA, looks after the motor vehicle transportation needs of the president, as directed by the White House Military Office. And wherever the president goes, the presidential motorcade goes with them. Coordinating the presidential motorcade is no easy feat for the WHTA either as the presidential retinue usually includes 40 to 50 vehicles. These vehicles in the long, well-protected convoy are meant to carry the first family, White House staff, official guests of the first family, and other authorized personnel. The presidential state car is a custom-made stretched limo built to provide maximum security to its VIP passengers. The 2009 to 2018 presidential state car is reported to have five inch thick bulletproof glass with military grade armor to protect the rest of the vehicle and an eight inch door to protect the president from any direct hit. The tires of the custom built limousine are reported to be Kevlar reinforced, which makes it puncture resistant. Because of the heavy protections around the vehicle, the presidential state car can only reach about 60 miles per hour. To drive the presidential state car itself, one needs to be highly trained to handle any eventuality. Each master driver is a transport operator by military occupational specialty and must complete 540 hours of city familiarization training. They take their training very seriously. For example, prior to the presidential inauguration processions, a simulated attack training is conducted to better prepare all involved with the procedures covering all foreseeable eventualities. The mammoth undertaking of protecting the president, on the other hand, falls on the shoulders of the United States Secret Service, who run the Presidential Protection Division. These agents are highly trained in handling firearms, combat, as well as self-defense. Those selected to the Presidential Protective Division will serve a minimum of six years to protect the president, 
The Secret Service unit is also responsible for making sure the presidential state car is in top condition and eventually demolishes it when it runs its course. I'm one of many mechanics that work on all the armored vehicles and uh, any issues the vehicles have we take care of, we maintain them and look after them. When the beast is on the move, it is usually accompanied by a number of Secret Service counter-assault team vehicles and depending on the situation and location, can be changed to optimize safety. The route car or pilot car lead the pack, followed by the sweepers that are made of police motorcycles and cars to clear the route. The lead car goes ahead of the presidential state car and acts as a buffer to protect the presidential state car. It is not unusual to see several identical presidential state cars deployed to act as a decoy against any attacks. Following the presidential state car is a modified SUV called the Roadrunner that can detect projectiles and unmanned air vehicles. Followed by support vehicles that carry the members of cabinet, medical teams, members of the press, and a defense equipment truck. The need to travel at a moment's notice requires high mobility and flexibility in transportation options, which includes air travel. The infamous Air Force One is currently made from a highly customized Boeing 747-200B that has transformed its 4,000 square foot space to accommodate the President's needs during flight. Designated as VC-25A, Air Force One can reach a range of 8,900 miles and even farther with aerial refueling. As of 2022, the aircraft still maintains its distinctive Raymond Lowy livery that was first introduced in 1962 on the first jet aircraft that was specifically built for the president. The modified Boeing 707, given the designation VC-137, was introduced during President John F. Kennedy's administration. The historic aircraft holds many significant memories and is currently preserved at the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Ohio. So it looks kind of cramped, but for the day, uh, this was it. And back in the days we flew this, we had a navigator who sat right back here, flight engineer, and of course the pilot and co-pilot. And I know it looks like there's a lot of buttons and a lot of switches, and there really are. And you have to know what each switch, which each button, which each circuit breaker does. And that's why we had so many people up here to share the workload. When the president needs to travel to hard to reach places, the Marine Helicopter Squadron 1, or HMX-1, of the U.S. Marine Corps would operate the infamous Sikorsky VH-3D Sea King, or the VH-60N, which for the purpose will be called Marine 1. Helicopters become the preferred choice of travel as they do not involve elaborate logistics and can reach remote places within a short time period. The squadron operates about 19 helicopters and tilt rotor aircraft like the V-22 Osprey to transport the other accompanying personnel and escorts of the president. On a typical presidential flight, about five to six identical helicopters are deployed as decoy. Whether it's the long and pompous presidential state car motorcade, or the mammoth Air Force One, and even the fast-moving Marine One helicopters, the great details of the vehicles built for the U.S. president have always been kept a secret, even when they are no longer in service. But what is certain, it doesn't come cheap. From the highly customized vehicles to the manpower needed to coordinate and operate, it can rake up millions of dollars to get the president from point A to point B. But 
for the most coveted seat of the White House and the Commander-in-Chief of the nation, the price of their safety can be limitless. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.